Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi washabi ajmain. Alhamdulillah, I'm addressing this message to these young people, the 700 million Muslims, youth, this transforming generation that insyaallah will take up the challenge to bring the ideals of how we can be an achiever in life. So what is important is that for, at this point we have to look backwards okay because as I mentioned in the previous video how from impossibility we bring to possibility and this boils down to many many things for example a whole world of communication all right it was impossible 150 years ago the telephone was not invented Graham, Abraham uh, Bell okay managed to do the little uh, wire phone and we have the telephone services so we can hear voice over distance now we can hear video we can hear everything so many impossibilities that we saw in the last 100 plus years now is becoming possibilities so now we have what we have many many things that is coming on stream we have video online for example right now you are seeing me on youtube which is not possible say even 20 years ago all right so we have artificial intelligence, we have robotics, we have uh, research in drugs, in therapies, in so many things. So the whole idea of human knowledge is accelerating and we are learning many things that we see as impossible becoming possibilities. So this is where we Muslims have to participate. So what are we Muslims doing in terms of the research, in terms of how we are going to have uh, a good life, how we're going to have a scientific life, how we're going to have a technological life, how we're going to create all these things because those things are ordained by Allah SWT. Remember, these are with Allah, all things are possible. So, certain things He makes imp this impossibility become possibility. So, within this realm, we Muslims must be able to do research, do studies, do whatever that we need to do so that then from here we become achievers. So we achieve, for example, in terms of fi finding uh, a new drug, whether it's from natural sources or a combination of DNA uh, structure or biologi biologics or whatever it is, for the treatment of cancer. Isn't it wonderful if it is discovered by a Muslim, young Muslim scientist? So you solve the problem which Allah has ordained. There's for every disease, there's a cure. So you begin to work on that cure and you become uh, the world's best researcher in terms of cancer cure or you have you become the world best in terms of programming uh, certain robots or whatever or you design drones so so many things there are thousands and thousands of areas of excellence which seems impossible but it is within the realm of possibility because this is within the realm of the dunya within the realm of the dunya this is the realm of the dunya so you must understand within the realm Impossibility is the universe, certain things possible, certain this is the realm of, of the universe. First is the realm of Allah, where Allah command, so with Allah all things is possible, this is the realm of the universe. Certain things are possible, certain things are impossible. But within that, Allah has given us the possibility, this is the realm of the dunya. So here is the realm of the dunya this is the world the world the realm of the world everything is possible within what that allah wishes which in what allah has bestowed upon us human human being with will free will with symbolic language with knowledge we can then move on to the realm of achievement this is also within the dunya huh? so how we are going to see this i'm going to explain to you in much detail later but what is important is for us to understand this little idea because when you understand this little idea you become a muslim that is so confident of achieving things in life whatever good that you wish whatever you desire whatever that you dream whatever that you intend to do your passion and whatever that you need to do because this is a little idea once planted into your heart will make you see that everything within the realm of the dunya is a possibility all right so we must be the most confident, most uh, scientific, most capable human being on this earth because we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us that opportunity to excel, to become an achiever, to become super duper good in whatever that we touch 
and make so that we become the leading ummah that will transform this 21st century into a beautiful 21st century, not a 21st century based on destruction, on greed, on environmental degradation, on killing of all the species of the, uh, of the ecosystem and so many things, evil, that we know if this 21st century continue for another 100 years, we will self-destroy this very civilization. And this is most uh, already the, 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 the intellect of the world today have already come to that conclusion. So what is the contribution of the Ummah? We must be people who are limitless in thinking. Within the realm of dunya, that means we must say that it is limitless in whatever that we can achieve. So remember, you're not limited by your little place here, there, no. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he was sent as rahmatullah alameen. Where does he come from? From the desert. Alright? He has no internet, no nothing, no everything, but he was ordained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take the greatest task ever for any human being. The task of transforming this world from now until the end of Yawm al-Akhir. So that is a task given to one man. Imagine how shocked he is when he received the first revelation from Jibril alayhi salam. You can imagine the, 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 the shock, the intensity. All right? So even, for example, a small task like I'm trying to do this little message of being achievers, I can see how great the impact will be. But it is a very difficult task. But doesn't mean that, oh, it is difficult, then I don't do it. No, it is within the realm of possibility. It is in the realm of achievement. So today, I get this message. I do this book. Alhamdulillah, we get this research by Professor Mahdi Jenkins. He passed on. Before he passed on, he says, okay, brother, this is now your job. You take it on, okay? So, Alhamdulillah, that is my task. I take it on. So, when he passed on eight years ago, I to, today I got the book out, Positive Islamic Psychology, A Transcendent Model to Achieve Peace, Happiness and Success in the 21st Century. I take it on. Inshallah, with the grace of Allah, with the will of Allah, when he ordained, when an idea has came up to its time, it will grow. So what we are trying to do? A positive way media of Islam with Muslims becoming the most confident of achievers in this world, the most positive achievers in this world, the most balanced achievers in this world, and we would then be able to change this dunya. So we are not going to retreat, we are not going to, uh, like the local language say, go stand, go backward, but we are going to go forward, regardless what, because we are giving a positive message of love, mercy and compassion. We are not talking about uh, suicide bombing, we are not talking about negative ideas of Islam, we are not talking about killing and murders and so on, but we are talking about a beautiful civilization that can grow out of the strength of these 1.7 billion Muslims that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained upon on our shoulders through the sacrifice of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu the Sahabis, the Tabi Tabi'in and all the great uh, uh, workers of Islam, the great dying of Islam who brought this message of how we can become a human being of possibility. Remember, every Muslim must be a Muslim of possible. Anything that you touch within the world, it is possible. Somebody says, you know, I mean, for example, you go to this motivation talk about, you know, these great uh, secular motivators. I have done a lot of their courses, their certification courses. I know their, their teachings. All right. Oh, you can be a billionaire. You can be a multi billionaire like Bill Gates. Yes, you can. What is so difficult? What is a, what is a billion? What is a trillion in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It is not even. This earth itself, if it isn't made into gold and you present it to Allah to, for your soul, you will not be accepted. That is where Allah tells us in the Quran. So it is nothing. A billion, a trillion, whatever. It is possible. Yeah, but why you want to have a trillion and you cannot even spend a million? So this is your own self-reflection of what you want to achieve in life and how you're going to achieve in life. Remember, every Muslim must be a Muslim of no limit from the world of possibilities. Remember, all Muslim youth especially, you must think in your conscious, subconscious, in spiritual, emotional, mental self that you are living in a realm of all things possible by the grace and the will of Allah. You can achieve anything that you desire, anything that you dream of, anything that you hope for, but naturally there are parameters to it which I will explain to you in the next video, inshallah.